a video from the Paranormies. Uh, they've been debunked many times before. This is Jordan and Johnny. I have not done a video on these guys in quite a while. Johnny and Jordan are some pretty cool guys. I do like them. They're Canadian. They love their beer. But when it comes to the paranormal stuff, that's when we kind of like start to part ways here. I watched this new video and guys, you really outdid yourselves, okay? <laughs> I'm not even going to say what it's about yet. We'll just play it and as it progresses, we'll get into it, okay? Let's go. And play. In the heart of a quaint town nestled by the edge of a serene lake stood a cabin. Mm. Weathered by time and surrounded by ancient trees, the townsfolk spoke in hushed whispers about the mysterious history that clung to the cabin like the mist that rolled off the waters each morning. Oh. Oh. <laughs> they said it was haunted, cursed by a malevolent spirit that had refused to find peace, even in death. I do declare, Mr. Murdoch. Decades ago, the cabin had been a lively family home. The Andersons, once a prosperous family, had lived there happily, hosting gatherings and celebrations that echoed through the woods. <laughs> However, tragedy struck when a deadly illness it's very poetic, guys. I love it. swept through the town, claiming the lives of Mr. and Mrs. Anderson. For what it's worth, they do have their own style. Their music is a lot different than usual. I would say, honestly, they've gotten a lot better at their videos. Oh, sometimes their stuff they do is very elaborate, which I do kind of give them credit for. At least they're not just throwing something. These guys use more emotional type music. And it does work. It does work for the kind of videos they, they do. So I just wanted to give them a little bit of credit there. There were those who dared to venture close. One such person was Amelia. Intrigued by the stories that surrounded the cabin, she decided to spend a night within its crumbling walls. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over the town, Amelia made her way to the cabin. The air grew colder. God damn. This is fucking beautiful. <laughs> when is that darn thing gonna set? Sorry. And, and the only sound that echoed through the forest was the crunching of the leaves beneath her boots. <laughs> the crunching of the leaves beneath her boots. Its skeletal frame, a dark silhouette against the moonlit sky. Okay! Pushed open the creaking door and the musty smell of aged wood and Dude, death. seriously, it's the most descriptive intro I've ever fucking been through my life. The fucking moisturized air was so moist, it was very moistly. As the morning dew slightly dripped down the windows into the musky, the musky depths of the cabin. As the cabin lay there, dwelling in his former skeleton of himself. I'm so sorry. This filled the air. The interior was frozen in time, as if the clock stopped on that tragic night. <laughs> Dust-covered furniture stood eerily in the place, and oh. the walls seemed to absorb the dim light, casting unsettling shadows. Oh my, okay, you're really pouring it all now, dude. Come on! As the night wore on, strange occurrences unfolded. Unexplained whispers echoed through the cabin, oh. and shadows danced across the walls. Amelia felt an icy chill that seemed to penetrate her very bones. Ooh. Fear gripped her, and she couldn't shake the feeling that unseen eyes were watching her every move. Years passed, and the cabin, now owned by a brave soul, undeterred by the ghostly tales, underwent a meticulous <laughs> restoration. The once dilapidated structure was brought back to life. Jesus. Its walls strengthened 
and its windows replaced. Yet, despite the physical transformation, <laughs> the ghostly presence. <laughs> Holy fuck. Dude, guys. Tangible and otherworldly. The haunting whispers Please continued make to it echo stop. through the halls, and flickering lights in the windows danced with a spectral energy. Jesus, who wrote the this? The haunted cabin, now a part of the town's living history. Who fucking wrote this, Mark Twain? Jesus! Three, the past and the present intertwined. I'm going to go watch Cody and Satori. That lingered within its walls. And so, oh. the quaint town by the lake pondering the intertwining mysteries of the lost and hollowed ground of the sacred and soiled earth in which the house sat on. <laughs>its residents glancing at the haunted cabin with a mixture of trepidation and fascination. Oh. The ghostly tale- Did you guys just try to find the longest words in the dictionary and just throw them in there, you know? The dichotomy of the trepidation of the fucking thing. Yeah! We got it! Becoming an integral part of the town's enduring war. Oh. Tony and I arrived on a cold oh. day to try to oh. understand the mystery of the Andersons and what secrets might be hiding behind the walls of this cabin's beautiful facade. Unfortunately- oh. A stroke of bad luck would greatly affect this investigation, and one of us would be stuck with this mysterious entity and be completely at their mercy. Oh, oh my god. That was the most painful intro I've ever been through in my life. Dude, that was fucking brutal. Thank god. I was just asking for the sweet release of sweet death. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, let's get into this. Oh. Trapezoids. The trapezoids, the dichotomy of the trapezoids. The former shell of itself in the skeletal cabin. Oh. How's your day? <laughs> oh. I feel like ever since we got here, I just have inches. How many? Oh, God, here we <laughs> go. A good number, right? That's average? That's average. I feel like just ever since we got here, though, I. Here we go with the fucking nap shit, you know? Inches? Oh, what? Oh, what'd you say? Ah! I just I have not really had the energy. No. I just, I don't know <clears throat> what it is about this place. I just kind of felt lethargic. I really haven't, oh. I don't know. Oh. I don't know, it might be in my head too, just because I know Probably. what might be going on. But I really feel like I haven't really been energized or anything. I am tired. It's the energy. It's very heavy. Uh, I didn't really. I don't know if I'm getting sick. I could just be getting sick. Yeah. I didn't really yeah. hear a lot last night. Yeah. I also slept like a rock. Hmm. Slept like a baby. Yes. <clears throat> Gotta have the apps playing nonstop in every video. <clears throat> one thing I d one thing I noticed though is that, like earlier today. I put like I put the camera onto the counter and it sounded like one of the chairs moved. I think you literally just made that up, like seriously. Like it sounded, it sounded, it sounded like I onto it, the counter. Yeah, like, like I I wasn't sure because like, I put the camera down here, and then it sounded like it sounded like this, like like this, like the chair wobbled. Yeah. Oh you were wow. standing, I, right, I was like I wasn't you were sure standing if I, right where you are now. Yeah, I wasn't sure if like it was like a camera wobbling, but it sounded too much like. Huh. Interesting. My God, that's amazing. I How really basically? haven't. Like, I thought maybe I heard something rustling around in the closet in my room. Yeah, it was rustling around. Is there anything you want to tell us? You can use this device I'm holding in my hand. Trouble. 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 Well, we don't mean any trouble. 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 <laughs> a pair of trouble. 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 Walking around the app with a fucking question tone to your voice, like a fucking parrot repeating everything it says is getting fucking old. Oh. And that goes for all ghost hunters. And I don't think you want to cause us any trouble. We're just here to talk. Let's just repeat every word it says. Bad. 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 
Are you bad? Yeah, I suck at making beds. <laughs> That's my best. That's my best. <laughs> I do suck at making beds. I do suck. Yeah. Trouble? Bad? What are you trying to say? Are you bad? Are you trying to try cause us trouble? Or do you think we're bad? Or were the Andersons bad? If you are using an app that spits out random words, and you're letting it dictate your investigation as far as what you're doing, what you're talking about, where you're going, you are using it wrong, and it's not even evidence anyway. Who knows? And by the way, I, these guys are cooler. I've been in their live chats before. I even gave them a super chat, I think, before. They're cool guys. It's just, look, this is how it's going to be moving forward. People are going to understand that you can be cool with somebody and disagree with things, okay? I disagree with these videos. I just disagree with them wholeheartedly. But that's just my opinion. Does it mean I hate anybody? Fuck no, it doesn't. I don't know, because it seems like, from what I've heard, they were like very well-respected. Like in around that area? Yeah, like apparently they always used to have parties here, gatherings with all their friends. They were kind of like the life of the party, you know? We yeah. used to get so wasted. Quiet. It is quiet. Hmm, it is it quiet. It has been quiet for two days. See, I don't even know. See, that's the perilous app. That's the, I believe, I mean, I, I, I'm having a hard time seeing my mask off. I'll, I'll put it on the screen, but I'm pretty sure that's the perilous app. Or is it the Ovilus app? I'll put it on the screen. Are you are you the, one of the Andersons? Mary. Mary. Well, there it is. Every fuck time. No, but this is spelled with two R's. Like Mary, like okay, as that's... married. Okay. I'm trying to... That's that's the thing too, guys. It's not. It's not just one app. It's one thing clear. It's not just one app. I make fun of it's all the apps. So that's just I make fun of the perilous just as much to do necrophonic, just as much to do as a spirit talker. It's just spirit talker is the newest one and everybody's using it, but I did the same thing with the fucking necrophonic app, app as well. So you can see it there, it says Mary. Okay, this is the perilous app. Mary I thought it was like not to be Mary confused. Mary. <laughs> hmm? I thought it was like Mary Mary. No, no, not Mary Mary. Just Mary. crazy because that fucking name pops up every time though. I know. That's because it's a word bank. It only says the words that are entered into it, and it repeats them over and over into oblivion. Don't hate the player, hate the game. In the closet oil. here. Right here. Oil. Dude, oil? Remember earlier I said I touched the table and it yeah, felt the, like oil? The table is like has a... That, yeah. Okay, isn't that a con, like a thing where like you feel like that slickness on things when there's spirits yeah. around? Okay. The table feels like solid oil, and that's yeah. which is weird. Is that's where all our gear is. This is where it gets fucking stupid. It is. Okay. I, I made that comment like before we started filming earlier. Because we've been eating at the island, we really haven't sat down at the table. No, we haven't. Y'all watch this. this Check this out. I just, the that's, yeah, that's the first time I noticed it. Check this. This is portrait. so funny. Portrait? Is there a portrait anywhere? Portrait? Is there portrait? is downstairs here. Yeah. Portrait. Portrait. But it's not. I mean, come, this, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Like, portrait, portrait, where's the painting? Where's the painting at? Ah! Like, it's, it's stupid. <laughs> it's, it's leading you guys. It's leading you, but I know you don't really care, but. God? You know it would be awesome if we could, if we could communicate through a spirit with the books too. Like if it could just explain. Oh. There's this one. Remember that line, guys. The whole this whole thing is about the books, okay? That's what I was looking at. It's not really a, it's not a portrait. Is it really a portrait though? But I remember seeing that. And I thought it was super cool. It's like so cool. Ooh, what was that? It's cool. So they hear a portrait. And they're trying to find something that matches a portrait, but it's not a portrait. The oil, though. Yeah. Like yeah. The yeah. Oil. Oh, the oil, yeah! You can, see, you, can see, you can see it. You can see the sheen on like, the look, table, oh, yeah. Look at my fingers. I can feel my IQ dropping. Uh, the other day when I was putting the yeah, oil on the table. This is awkward. Oh, we have like, not, it's a clear oil. Yeah, we have like not sat down at this table to eat or anything. We've no, but I was grabbing stuff on it. And I didn't remember. My hands never felt like that. Mm. We only noticed it tonight at like 11 o'clock. It's paranormal oil, guys. Why is the table so oily? Like that's not. 
it's not like a wood protector. It's not really like a wood protector on it. Why would, dude, why would you do that? It's not like a wood protector. It's not be like a wood protector on it. Why would, dude, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Have you never heard of table polish? Have you never heard of old English? You can practically see your face in that damn thing. <laughs> You're telling me that don't put your love effort. <laughs> Wax? I don't know. Well, we've been here. We've been here for a few days. Like we didn't do that, so it's all over it. Yeah, that's kind of the point when you're using table polish. The whole entire table is covered in it. When I got married, and every week I dust it with pledge. For 30 years, it's had a beautiful shine, week after week, year after year, with no buildup. Did you hear that, Johnny? A beautiful shine for 30 years? Hello, and no buildup. But to literally go like, oh, it's oily. It could be like some kind of paranormal oil. Paul Anderson. Upstairs. <gasps> upstairs? We just were We just came from upstairs. Oh god. What do you want to show us upstairs? We go back upstairs? We're going back upstairs. Yeah. Hit, Cause, Cause the app told us so. We're coming back upstairs and we're gonna bring another piece of equipment with us. That app is making so, you its bitch. Yeah. We do what the app tells us to do and we're fake. It did say upstairs in attic, and we had heard that noise. That's true. Pass. Pass? pass. Did we pass you? Are you in this chair? I hate it here! It's that it said pass just as you walked by. Mm -hmm. So are you sitting here? Here we go. Nothing on the K2. Is there something in your pocket? Is it a K2 meter in your pocket? Are you happy to see me? <laughs> Daniel. 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 Pay attention, guys. Pay attention. The horse's daughter. The horses. Oh, cool the horses. horses awesome. I mean, we're probably just kind of looking for I know. I'm just, I 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 just, we need to find the word Daniel. Well, is there anything else? Is there like... Who's the, who's the author of that book? Richard. Richard? <laughs> Richard Van Camp. Okay. Because that would have been crazy. Pictures the, by George Littlechild. Those are some wild ass Like, names. August just said Daniel. And you just picked that book up the shelf. The author was a Daniel something. That would have been crazy. See, they are grasping at straws right now. They are trying to make some connection between that perilous app San Daniel and an author or something in a book that they're looking at to draw this whole thing home. They're trying to find a narrative. Oh no. Reached. Reached? Do you have to repeat everything I say? Jesus Christ, you're annoying. Is there a Daniel something? I remember earlier, guys, he said something to the effect of, wouldn't it be so cool if like, the ghost communicated through the books or something like that? Paralysis. 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 Paralysis, because I don't want to do that. Oh. I haven't had that. You know, it's funny. I remember <laughs> these dudes, man. I used, I used to talk to them a little bit on the through text. You guys called me one time. Remember that? Like, because these guys, look, these guys go fucking live. They used to, anyway. They used to go live just drunk as hell. And it was funny as hell. They go live like at three in the morning, just drunk as shit, man. And it was funny as hell. And I keep my notifications on for them. And oh my god, it was hilarious. But one night they called me like at three in the morning on Instagram, and I didn't see it the night. I woke up the next day like, what the hell? And I thought, you know what? These guys are probably drunk calling my ass in the middle of the fucking night. I guarantee you, unless it was a butt dial. But I'm curious, guys, hit me up. And seriously, Jordan, John, if you're, if you're watching this. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you uh, if you called me that not on purpose or not. I'm looking for a Daniel. You think out of all these books, one of the authors would be Daniel something. And then maybe the title could tell us something. I mean, how scientific is this approach, guys? I mean, because an app says a word like Daniel, and you guys know as well as we do that this thing says mustard and all kinds of weird stuff. It says Daniel, and you have a a shelf full of books. Daniel is a very common name. Of course, if you sit there for half an hour and look through those things, you're going to find the word Daniel eventually. I think he's pretty cool. I'm looking for a Daniel. You think out of all these books, 
one of the authors would be Daniel something. And then maybe the title could tell us something. Mm. The secrets in the books, guys. So this part, he's walking around the room with the K2, oh. not getting any hits. Oh. In my opinion, I think this is a setup to where he's showing that all the action is coming from that chair. And I've said it in other videos before, why is there always a pillow on the chair or the couch where the K2 is spiking? Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Here we are. Let's see what we got there. Test. Okay. Test. Test? Running a test? a test? Yes. This is a yes. test to see if you're here. This is a test of the local broadcast system. Last name we got was Daniel. What? Ah. Ah. You know, look at this pillar right here. I said in the previous video, I think, what, two videos ago? It's always funny. They do a K2 meter session. There's always, like, some... I said this literally. It's usually by a pillow. <laughs> like, it's always by a pillow or something that's like, oh, look at this. I mean, I'm, I can't prove that's happening here, guys. Just I'm just saying, as far as a reaction video goes, you know, that if that is fake... It's very easy to put something behind that pillow, like a walkie-talkie, something like that to get those spikes. And play. That scared me. What? No, nothing, nothing. Just to give you guys a heads up, what they're doing is they're trying to act like there's somebody sitting in that chair, and then there's a noise downstairs, a noise outside that room, and they're gonna act like that the person got it from that chair and bolted out that door. That's what they're doing here. And that's why they had to do the K2 earlier like that to make it look like it was a ghost sitting in the chair. What the hell? It's almost like something so got up did, and left. It just bolted. Yeah. It went off again. Um, Which is weird. He went off again. Because when we were hanging out over here looking at the books, oh, I swear I heard a footstep. On the goes, stairs. There it goes. By the pillow. By the pillow. Another pillow. Another pillow, guys. Look. It's just like, it's like any, That's you know? Weird. Bolt from one chair to another? What's up with these chairs? It bolts from one pillow to the other pillow. It's always behind the pillow. This thing's going off now. Hmm. Why is it going off so much? It's like, oh, it's almost like a, left like a contrail of energy oh, yeah. as we're following where, where it just oh, went. And it's a that's what you're saying. It's, it's, they're, they're, <laughs> they're walking through a contrail. The, it, the spirit left a contrail and the K2 meter is literally going through the contrail and picking up those, those, uh, energy. It's like a little piece of, this is good. This is real good. Like where the trail where it went. Like, what if we could trace it? It's still going. Oh. This wasn't doing anything. Understand. Understand? Are we understanding what's Un going on finally? Uh, understanding? Oh, we're understanding what's going on. Okay, cool. Understanding. Oh. What if it said, like, warmer right oh, here now? Here we go. Oh. Here we go. Whoa. Oh. It's like right to the front door. It's fucking bullshit. It's like, oh, it led a trail right to the front door. Oh. Did you, did now it's you, done. This is fucking did you, did you bullshit. Leave? That's very scientific of you guys. Wow. What? You went How right out the front door? That? that is the weird. I've never experienced that. Like we've never had anything like that. It's almost like it left like the, like the oil, like an oil slick. Like, oh. like, oh. It where it went. Oh, I love it. I love it. The the oil on the table, that that paranormal oil that was left behind that residue. The, pet, the, the entity must have left some kind of like natural residue behind if you will maybe more of like a uh calgon take me away type of oil this is oils and then we walked we walked to the contrail of the k2 meter thing and then the oils mixed with that oh man this is getting crazy oh let's make sure the apps are still running as well to let us know what's going on okay here we go oh yeah Hey guys, that's part one. I had to split this one up. It was just way too long to do one big video. So we'll do part two this weekend. Make sure you have those notification bells turned on for me. I'm looking to go live as soon as I feel up to it. 
Also, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I fucking love this community. You know what we're growing as well. In the description, you're going to find links for Fantastic Publishing, uh, The Freedy Show, who did the music for this. We also have Josh and Paranormal Seekers, who's done a lot of artwork for me. Uh, go subscribe to them. This helps the community as a whole. And it's, it's getting really fun with all the debunkers and everybody involved. This is going to be a great year. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Drop me a comment on the way out. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you.